Russia began to use 122mm artillery shells, which look very similar to Chinese-made shells. Open source intelligence reported on X.Artillery 122mm high-explosive fragmentation shells of the long range of 56 im one m which the Russian army began to receive for the D-30 122mm howitzers, have some similarities with the Chinese 122mm shells to IT is not yet known whether these shells are produced on the territory of Russia or China transfers them directly to IT should be noted that the new of 56 im one m shells have a 4 km longer range than conventional 122mm high-explosive fragmentation. Shells according to Russian sources, the arrival of new shells made it possible to overcome a strong deficit, since the pace of their production in the territory of the Russian Federation is low. In addition to Chinese shells, Russia is actively using artillery shells produced by the North Korea during the hostilities, there are numerous supplies from the country for the artillery units of the occupiers on the territory of Ukraine, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky also spoke about it at the special meeting of the European Council. They are already hitting our cities, in addition to the Iranian Shahids destroying our civilian infrastructure. Intelligence confirms that Russia will receive a million artillery shells from Pyongyang, Zelensky said, the main advantage of ammunition produced by the North Korea is that they can be used for Soviet-style artillery systems. It should also be noted that, according to Western intelligence, the North Korea has supplied Russia with more than 1 million artillery shells of various calibers. The data by Frontelligence Inside Asin experts shows that the lower bar for the number of shells delivered is 500,000 with input data in 2,000 shipped containers at the end of October 2023. The data deals with the 122mm and 152mm shells for barrel artillery with sets of mechanical fuses RGM2 to them. Germany could be involved in a war with Russia, Scholz opposes supplying Ukraine with Taurus missiles. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz once again opposes the supply of long-range Taurus missiles to Ukraine. In his opinion, this could involve his country in a war with Russia, according to RND. We must, under no circumstances, be aligned with the objectives achieved by this system. Therefore, this is not the next item on the agenda. This clarity is also necessary. I am surprised that some people are not concerned at all. They don't even contemplate whether what we are doing might, in some sense, lead to participation in war, says Scholz. He explained that Taurus missiles are long-range weapons and what the English and the French do in terms of target control is impossible to do in Germany. Anyone who has dealt with this system knows this, adds the Chancellor. Scholz noted that he is very irritated by the lack of balance between what is really needed now and the discussion about Taurus. What Ukraine lacks is ammunition for all possible lengths and distances, but not fundamentally from Germany, he emphasized. Recall that Ukraine has been urging Germany to initiate the supply of long-range Taurus missiles capable of destroying targets up to 500 kilometers away since last year. However, the German government refuses to transfer such weaponry. According to media reports, Chancellor Olaf Scholz himself opposes it. He is concerned that the Ukrainian armed forces could use German missiles to strike Russian territory, making Germany a party to the conflict. Iran transfers hundreds of 700-kilometer range ballistic missiles to Russia. Iran allegedly provided Russian occupiers with around 400 ballistic missiles. They are capable of destroying targets up to 700 kilometers away, according to Reuters. Three unnamed Iranian sources told the media outlet that part of the transferred missiles are from the Fateh-110 short-range ballistic missile family, including the Zolfagar. Such a missile is capable of destroying targets at distances ranging from 300 to 700 kilometers. As one of the Iranian sources revealed, the deliveries began in early January after an agreement was reached at meetings between Iranian and Russian military and security service representatives at the end of last year. These meetings took place in Tehran and Moscow. Another unnamed Iranian military official clarified that there have already been at least four deliveries of missiles. A new transfer is expected next week. Another official stated that some of the missiles were sent to Russia by ship via the Caspian Sea while others were transported by plane.
There will be more shipments. There is no reason to hide this. We are allowed to export weapons to any country that we wish to, he added. An American official informed Reuters that Washington has seen evidence of active negotiations between Russia and Iran, but there are no signs yet that the deliveries have taken place. Rumors that Russia wants to obtain Iranian ballistic missiles spread as early as last year. Ukrainian intelligence services are verifying information about a possible transfer by Iran of its ballistic missiles to Russia, stated Andriy Cheniak, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, in a comment to RBC Ukraine. Iran became the first country to supply weapons to Russia for the war with Ukraine. Thus, the Russian army consistently receives Shahed strike drones from Iran, which are used to attack Ukrainian cities and infrastructure. In addition, Iran helped Russia set up its own production of these drones.